hi guys and welcome back to my channel if this is the first time of coming across my channel here on youtube you are so welcome so in today's video we are going to be talking about lots of things that of course people did not actually get during the process of me doing my wedding and i know many people are going to be coming to say oh you don't have to reply then it is your wedding your choice yes i know it is my wedding my choice that is why i did it and this is not me clarifying anybody this is just me trying to also create content you understand for more clarity this video is going to be divided into four dimensions like i'm going to be talking about the things that happened and i'm going to be sectioning them into four dimensions i actually made a note of them so i'm not going to be forgetting the first dimension is going to be where they really too bright why did i allow my sister wear the color white why did i allow my sister outshine me <laughs> seriously so people can be so funny with their comments and the second dimension that this video is going to be taking is going to be why i did not wear the traditional ball gown like i think that was what that was what provoked the why i allowed my sister outshine me but we are going to be coming to that very soon and the third one is why i didn't use a hole why did i use a garden like structure why 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 that's very funny and the last one is going to be the lady that posted my video like my wedding video after me why i actually allowed it so this is the fourth dimension this video is going to be taking and because i'm a medical practitioner we are always taught that for you to make things very simple and easy you have to go from easiest to highest i mean just going from abc before you get to xyz so because of that we are going to be taking the easiest one first which is why i didn't use a hole so before our wedding i already knew and knew what i wanted i really wanted my wedding to be outdoor i liked the whole concept of the hall but if the reception was to be a white wedding it would have made more sense but because my reception was a traditional themed reception i just wanted it to be outside because i have seen traditional themed um reception that they've done inside and i have also seen the ones that they've done outside and i just felt like the ones that they do outside are always very calm and cozy while the ones that they do inside is also very calm and cozy but the ones inside are more for white wedding so if it were a white wedding reception i would have gone for the hall but because it was a traditional that was why i went for the outside like i used outdoor and if you check my hot my my church i use my church and why did i use my church my church is very beautiful as you can see i'm going to be putting a clip like i'm going to be putting clips there the church is very beautiful from the outside to the inside you can church where we did the the church wedding was actually very beautiful and cozy and we have a hall also in my church as a matter of fact nelly the lady that posted my video she had done her uh, marriage i think sometimes either last year or last two years and because she's also a member of my church although not in uyo she did has in Aba, and she used the hall the whole section of the church i'm going to be putting a picture or a clip of what the whole section looks like and it was very beautiful very nice 
it was very fine if i had wanted to use a haul i would have still used the haul but because i really wanted outdoor something that was why i used the outdoor and to think that that was even me trying to save cost because if i had to go and get a haul depending on the capacity i'm looking at like the number of guests i'm expecting i should be spending up to like 250 to 300 if not more for a haul alone so i just checked it this place is very fine even people that are not members of our church come to our church to actually get that place which the church give them for free so they get that place and they use it for their occasion their wedding and everything so why would i now want to do my wedding and i go and i leave this beautiful place and go to get a haul or somewhere at event center so from day one i knew that event center was not going to like that was off the budget so that was why i used the outside and that was why i didn't use the all the only challenge i knew i was thinking of like the only challenge i was having and we were praying very very well about it was that rain should not fall you know may june is just the weather for rain and every day rain was actually falling but you see that thursday i did my traditional marriage and it started the way i did the white wedding rain did not fall and i think that's a very very big miracle god was just by my side i mean god just wanted me to get married to the love of my life and it actually worked that way so that was why i did not use a haul moving over to the next section why um there was no ball gown so ever since i started thinking about me getting married i've always known that i was not going to wear a ball gown and the ball gown was actually what made people start thinking that why did I allow my why did I why did I allow my sister wear the same clothes with me? The bride and the bride, the maid of honor are almost the same. We don't know who is the bride, we don't know who is the, this this why why everybody is used to the normal things, normal ball gown, normal dragging of clothes, which I was not very comfortable with. I already had my style I already had how I wanted myself to be in I knew that I was going to be very simple very beautiful and very up and doing I didn't want a situation whereby I'll be packing I'm too young for that not to say that people that are doing it they don't they are not young or what that's their own that's their own way I have my own style and I knew that a ball gown was never going to be what I will do so what i did was i just i in fact i made so i made lots of inquiries i had to go back and even check how white people do their own wedding and that's why this white people i too to love them because they don't have time they don't have all this kind of time you would rarely see a white person wearing all those things what they do is just make a very small slim spaghetti hand and then show back the only thing that is going to make you know that oh this person is actually getting married is the veil you probably see a long veil or a short veil and she gets married and that is it but we africans especially nigerians we are of the opinion that your gown has to flow it has to be heavy in fact as you are entering the car people have to be pushing you inside which i was not going to subject myself to that so i did not want a ball gown and that was why I just eliminated it from my whole thoughts. And to even think that the ball gown self, when I even said I should just let me just try and see how much they are renting it. The prices they were calling was so they were selling me eighty thousand, hundred thousand, and I was like, not like the money is expensive. But if I tell you how much I made that beautiful dress I was wearing, like this beautiful dress I was wearing. You'll be shocked and i'm going to be making that in another video i'm going to be telling you guys how i made my dress like the veil the bouquet how if i tell you how much i spent on that dress you are going to be shocked but that's not why that is not the purpose of this video so that was why i didn't actually wear a ball gown i am never a fan of ball gown i wanted to look very classy i'm a modern day wife so why would i want to do what a regular person is doing and i'm not even like a regular person so there is no point trying to be like every other bride hope that question was answered now the next thing i want to talk about is about my friend nelly that actually posted my video before me when nelly came to the venue and then she did that scene and then she posted that short clip where we were kissing in church it was actually well my sister that drew my attention to the video and was like nelly has posted your video and i saw it and i was like oh 
nice and i went to the comment section trust me when i was when she told me that i was not thinking about anything but when i went to the comment section it was now the commenters that were making me know that ah, ah, this thing that this girl did is bad <laughs> and i think that that's not really nice commenters should try and really be cool and i i am very grateful and thankful that she actually came out to clear the air <laughs> like to just say her own side of the story so i do not think that she did anything that was wrong hear me out i did not think that she did anything that was wrong the only thing i think that she did was wrong was that she did not actually um she would have just waited when she see us posting our wedding content she would have posted it because you know we were doing it serially like we we're doing the we we're posting the event the way it occurred so if you watch when she posted hers we have not even started posting our like we were still posting our traditional marriage like the traditional marriage right so we are still coming only for me to just open and then i see that um she has posted the wedding and <laughs> they will they will make it worse i saw some people that were reacting saying that um the long awaited hidden wedding has been exposed <laughs> i was like i don't understand what was hidden there was nothing that was hidden it was just that we we're trying to post it sequentially the way it occurred so that was just the only thing i think she did wrong because many people came to the event it was an open event many people came many people videoed it and i am sure that they are going to post it when they want to post it we don't have access to them we cannot tell them when they want to post it or not it is just that nelly is kind of popular a little bit so she's kind of popular that is why many people saw her own video but you don't know the other people that came that have posted it that you did not see so i don't think nelly did anything wrong it is just that she would have waited till we started posting the content before she does but any which way it did, it did not it, it did not it was not a bad of it it was not an and for you to also know that she didn't actually know that what she did was wrong you see that after she posted the first video she actually took a break she didn't post any other one till we started posting our wedding content so she was just a an innocent woman that just posted a friend's wedding and she didn't know it was going to turn out that way and i read the comment section and people were not really nice with her they were telling her that you have spoiled the union you spoiled this union you have made this one i was like what did Nelly spoil? Is it this union that they don't join around and that Nelly spoiled because of video? Actually, the comment was not really was not really nice and she really tried to think that she came all the way from Portaco just to attend my wedding. Who am I? <laughs> just to attend my wedding. She really, really tried, but that is how it is. Now moving on to the last point. Hmm. The last point were they really too bright why did i allow my busy body sister as she calls herself to be to wear white as me when i was choosing the color for the whole day because my husband is such a nice guy and a gentle guy that he allowed me he just told me just plan this wedding it is your wedding so plan it choose the colors you want assign everything to everybody when you are done tell me so I checked around, I picked the colors I wanted to pick and I picked the colors I was going to be wearing. I told him about his own color, he said it was okay. I told him what his parents would be wearing, he said okay fine, no problem. And then we made a little bit of adjustments here and there and I picked my bridesmaid and then the groomsmen and every other person. When it was time for me to pick Jenny's color, I looked at Jenny and I was like, mm, this is my sister, I want us to twin. So I told her that she can wear white, she should wear white to church. And then she should wear red with me for the reception when i told her she should wear white she was like are you sure i should wear white i was like yes you can wear white so she was not she was not even she didn't want to wear the white she felt like she was going to be dragging the day with me that was even before this whole thing happened no that was just how she was feeling she just felt like i am the person that is doing the wedding so as such i should wear white she shouldn't wear white she should maybe wear something Something that will match the Ashebi girl's color. But I told her, no, I want her to wear white. Now, why I told her I wanted her to wear white is because I have seen bridesmaids that have worn white. Um, I'll make reference to Ekene Omenwa marriage. She and um, Chinenge Nebe. I hope that's the person. Yes. 
she and her chief bridesmaid they actually wore white on their on Ekene's wedding day. And this Chinaye is, is even not a Kenneth sister. She is a friend and she wore white, like they both wore white and it was beautiful. The only thing that was different in their own was that a Kenneth now was wearing a gown that the, from the nail was flared, but the, the maid of honor was wearing a straight gown. That is the only difference. Whereas in my own, I was wearing a straight gown and my maid of honor which is my sister was wearing a straight gown so if these two people that are complete strangers can come together and wear white why can't i and my sister wear white that was just the thought i had it was how i thought of first that maybe just say jenny should wear white and jenny being so merciful and even kind she did not even wear white she now sewed something that was like cream it was her off color and she later told me that her tailor said she shouldn't wear white that she should wear off color since i am the bride i should wear the white so i didn't really see anything wrong in me picking the color white for her i just felt like she's my sister i mean she's she used to be my nest of kin except now but now that i'm married my husband is now it's okay she used to be my nest of kin so we are sisters and we are like let her just wear white so it was when commenters and everybody start saying she's greedy why would she wear white she wants to steal my shine she wants to outshine me she wants to that was when i, I, I was not like i was not even thinking about this <laughs> i was not even thinking about this but i said nothing about it i was just looking at it from the angle of wow these people have so much things in their mind i understand that on the big day only the bride is supposed to wear white because white makes the bride stand out but i don't think that's a, that's the point we already know who the bride is the bride stood out i stood out i stood out i stood out so she just wore white and she didn't even wear white she wore cream and i think that was not really a big deal i just saw it and i was just laughing i was just i was the one again that even told her that see you have a content now to film if i wish i'm going to show it on my on my chat i'm going to show it when All these things were happening i just thought that see if you don't make money from this content now you lose and i gave her the idea better go and make a video telling us about how you outshine your sister so i was still the one that gave her the idea to film that video so i picked the color for her she wasn't greedy she wasn't selfish in fact if you see i thank god that i made her my bridesmaid because i don't think there is anybody that would have done that job as much as she did she was so up and doing she was so helpful at a point like before then before the wedding i was really thinking she was just going to be doing her own thing you know how bridal squad can be snapping their own pictures doing their own thing making sure that they were beautiful but jenny was just so selfless she was just 101 percent active and of course she brought the life of the party like i cannot like <clears throat> Anyway, not like I was compromising or thinking of who I was going to give the bridesmaid to. I'm just thankful that I actually gave her because after, there was nobody, like, there is no, that like, there was no, there, not like I was thinking, but she did it perfectly. She delivered and it was all good. Okay, why do, why is nobody talking about my sister, my elder sister that also wore white? Why is nobody talking about it? I also gave her the color because when she was going to pick her own color, she also asked me, what do you want me to wear? I told her you can wear anything on it. And she was like, what if I wear white? I said, perfect. That's not a big deal. Wear it. Anything you know is going to look good on you. Wear it. I'm not a bride that is not beautiful that I will see you being beautiful and then I'll be like, hey, she can. 
I already knew that I was going to be beautiful. So anything anybody wants to wear that is going to make them beautiful, please wear it. So that's basically what happened. And then for incoming brides, for brides that are going to be getting married 2024, 2025, please, if you're picking your bridesmaid, no, your maid of honor, you should be sure that this person is a very selfless person. I would advise that you use somebody you know very well maybe your sister if you have a sister that you think you are very close if you have a best friend that you think oh this my friend can go all the way you can use anybody you feel you know very well that can sacrifice a lot for you you can use because the the job of the maid of honor is not a small job i know what there are things that i actually forgot that jenny actually came through even the short clips i told her to do like the short clips of my bridesmaid talking about me and how they like me how we met that i added in my bachelorette night hi guys i'm p i'm vivian my name is grace my name is jenny it's emilia i'm baby i'm stella kenzie is my sister she was my six mate like my side and i'm kenzie's roommate she was very very kind i knew her from my mom actually it's it was Jenny that did it because at that time, I was all, my head was thinking about so many things at the same time. I was just trying to calculate what is not happening, what is happening, what is going wrong, what is not going wrong. Trust me, as a, as a bright bee, you are thinking about so many things at the same time. You need a very, very good maid of honor that is going to come out and stand out for you. And that was what Jenny did. She did it 101. Like she did it and she added Jara. <laughs> so I'm really thankful for the kind of family I have. My family also came through. And also my bridesmaid also did a very good job. I would recommend that if you are doing anything and you want to put your bride, like if you are picking your bridesmaid, be sure that you are picking people that can actually sacrifice. That is also another thing because the rooms I I I I took. The rooms I booked for us in the hotel, for myself and the bridesmaid, I booked like three rooms for us. You wouldn't believe that the hotel that we paid for, they end up selling that room out before we arrive. And this is a room that I booked three days before the day we were supposed to come. So it was now, they were not telling me that, oh, we have to refund you, this, this, that. I was like, how do you want me to put these girls, these ladies in one room? Although it was a very big room. We actually talked and talked and talked and they were able to sacrifice and I think five of them were able to stay in one room while the others I was able to move them to another hotel entirely which was quite com on inconvenience <laughs> which was quite uncomfortable for them because on the day of the bachelorette night the other girls had to come from the other hotel that was very far from the hotel that we are doing the bachelorette to come and join us so it was a lot of Helter Skelter run. It was just a lot. But long last, I thank God that the girls were so understanding. They were so patient with me. They were just acting as if I was their sister. Even on the day of the wedding, I had frustrations that made me cry in church. Like after the church, there was Helter Skelter. Everything was not going as planned. And I don't know when I just. <laughs> it was not them that was not telling me. Sorry now, why are you crying? You clean you you spoil your makeup. Why why what? Those girls are just the best and I want to specially thank them. I know some of them are going to be watching this video. I want to specially thank them. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I see you in my next one. Bye.